Okay, I think I finally figured out the right way to whiten these skulls. Uh, I just put this one in here. Remember, 200 degrees, don't go over 211, 212. Definitely not too thin. Anyway, don't wanna get that hot. Um, I'm gonna, I cut off the lower jaw. It's already skinned, cut off the lower jaw, take out the eyeballs, take as much meat off as you can. Try to keep it as high as you can for minimum of two to five hours. Maybe might have been doing six a couple times, but not that hot. <clears throat> anyway, do that, and then I'll make another video when I get this out so I can remember my waiting process because these ones turned out really good, and I want to remember this. So these ones I just took out of. It's not even dry yet. It's still a little yellow. Once that gets dry, that sucker will whiten right up. That was probably like two, maybe three runs, half hour runs in 190 degree peroxide. <clears throat> Some of them didn't come out, or they weren't done, and I've been putting the paste on anyway, but a couple of them were a little yellow on the nose, so I, the last run I did, took them out hot, when they were nice and hot, and that heat is baked into that bone, I put the paste peroxide on and wrapped it in a bag put a rubber band around its snout and let it sit overnight wash them off now they'll dry and we'll see how they look tomorrow morning so i think two coats of mop and glow look uh good i don't need three and on the white tails i'm going to take coffee grounds and rub them on the horns to darken them a little bit and the muleys, I'll do a little bit of stain and uh, brighten them up and seal them a little bit. So this one was about maybe a total of 10 hours boil time, two different, two separate boils. Pretty clean, shook it off, just got a little bit of stuff to pick off and then I can start whitening it, which is good. Um, just finished up these ones. Uh, stained the antlers, mop and go to school. White tail, I used coffee grinds and a little bit of used vegetable oil um, just to darken them up a little bit. And this one, stain, same thing. Another important step, I so I cleaned this one off. This, when it just got done with the second boil. Got most of it off. There's a little bit of stuff back in there. Not much, just some tendons. Uh, use this thing for the brain cavity. Uh, on my first boil, went in there, ripped up that membrane and the brain itself. And uh, that works a lot. Looks pretty good. Then shake it out when you, when you, when you're done with the boil, shake it out real good, and a lot of that stuff flies out, and it is a cavity. Uh, I haven't blasted anything yet, so like I just left that stuff in there for now, and the uh, peroxide will take care of it. This thing is actually became very important. This long bore, four bit, three eighths. It's like 16 inches long. It's it's long. So I take this on this stage here when I'm uh, boiling and I run it in the back of the skull. You can see those two holes down there, way up in there in the cavity. And you push through a little bit of soft bone, I guess, into the nasal cavity. And uh, that helps it dry out a lot better. I don't get any grease spots in the forehead, but you can't go too far and poke through the bone if you're not careful, which I actually did. Um, you can't really see it, but I mean, you can, but right, right, th right about there. So keep that in mind. Don't go too deep. So it's been a few days. I don't know. I'm not really sure where I left off, what skull I left off on. Um, and I know I was boiling. 
I got done with quite a few. Um, so I just got done with one that had been boiled twice, uh, probably for about eight hours total, maybe somewhere in there. I think the longer the better, uh, just do two separate times to get a lot of that grease out. Um, now I <clears throat> dipped this one in peroxide. Whoops. I boiled this one in peroxide. Uh, 245 minute sessions and now when it was really hot nice and 180 degrees probably when I took it out of there still nice and warm then I stick the hair products on it which is the hair uh, whitening peroxide this plus this makes a paste paste it on the skull when it's nice and hot and then wrap it so it stays moist put a rubber band around the muzzle there and it'll stay nice and moist it won't dry out and leave that overnight uh, tomorrow we'll come and pressure wash it off and it should be good it should be nice and white and then just uh, finish it off